All right, folks, God bless everybody, and welcome to the end of the world. It's coming quickly, folks. Um, so listen, I want to, first of all, I want to start with telling everybody thank you, thank you for the prayers and the kind, the kind thoughts. I appreciate it. You know, uh, I'd like to just talk to y'all, you know, on just like a one-on-one -on -one level to each person. You know, I, I was, I was kind of bummed out about having to go in and have surgery at this this juncture because I know the end of the world's here and the Lord has confirmed it, you know, in so many ways, it's just, it's redundant. And I asked the Lord, I said, look, I'm so hurt right now. You know, and I mean, yesterday was a very difficult day and the day before was pretty rough, but especially yesterday, I even thought maybe I was going to the ER, but I said, Lord, so why did, why did it wait this long? Why did it wait this long to uh, to give me surgery? You know, this is the end. And it doesn't seem to really make sense to me that you would have me go into surgery this close to the end of the world. And I have a real big Bible in my living room. You know, one of these really old antique, really nice Bible that was given to me as a gift from my mom. And um, and I said, Lord, why why would you have me be so hurt, so injured? Here at the very end, this is so difficult because I've got so much information to give everybody right now that you've given me. And I, and I, I asked an honest question. I'm like, I don't, I don't understand. And the Lord told me, I want you to go open that Bible. And I went and I opened up that, that Bible and it's a really big, big Bible. Sorry about that guys. So I went and I opened that Bible. When I opened up the Bible, there was only a couple sentences in the on both pages that were in red writing. So when it's in red writing, those are the words out of the mouth of Christ. And let me show you um what those red words were. I, I pulled it up on Bible Gateway. Here's what it said in red writing. It said, And he said unto me, My grace is sufficient for thee, for my strength is made perfect in weakness. This is like the weakest I've ever been that I and so long, I just, I can't even tell y'all how beaten down I am. I can't, I can't tell you how just weak I am right now. And um, so the Lord told me for him to do what he's going to do with me here at the end, I have to be weak in, in order for him to use me. And I said, okay, so since then, He's shown me, um, well, let me back up. If you guys look at the past, you know, couple weeks of videos, everything's been about one thing. It's about locusts coming out of the pit, right? That's what the whole thing's been about. The final revelation has been locusts and how they're tattooed on, you know, all these girls and they're in the middle of a transmutation circle and all this. So he's let me prove the mystery of all mysteries that the human body is nothing more than a host body system that's used to transfer energy from one of God's angels into one of Satan's demons. And um, it so the host body is a cannibalistic system in which that energy of an angel of God is converted and sent into the pit as food for Apollyon. And then a, a new race of beings, which are locusts, are going to come out of the pit, and that's what's about to happen. Now, he let me prove that to you, and I'm we're going to meticulously outline all the scripture, meticulously use all the um, supernatural gifting that he's given to me to prove it, you know, with the hindecagram and the kelepot, and, you know, and all the imagery that the Lord lets me see. And so we're going to put that together for y'all, but I want to show you what he told me to do the other day. I mean, my mouth fell open. So check this out. So before I got saved, you know, I was a pro skydiver and this is me before I got saved. So I was a pro skydiver. I had vampire sunglasses, cannibalistic, you know, just look, just look at the predestination here. So I'm always falling out of the sky upside down. I had a slew of really, really pretty girlfriends. You know, that's what I did. I was kind of just a, you know, a player. 
and I did all this artwork, um, and I, I had my own art gallery, and my artwork was cutting edge. It was like, you know, the artists in San Antonio were like, where did you even think of coming up with this idea for your artwork? And what I had done was I had taken large walls of metal, and I grind, I took a seven and a half inch angle grinder and I would put different depth pads on it, like coarse, medium, fine. And I would carve images on that metal. And then I would light up the images with different colored lights. And there's, this is only in a small piece of, of what's in, what's in this artwork. But anyway, but I literally carved the mystery of human existence in metal without even knowing it. I carved Genesis 6. I, call, I carved the final judgment. Uh, I had angels coming down from heaven having sex with human women. Um, I had the Garden of Eden. Um, um, anyway, and the, you know, there's, there's all this stuff. There's a serpent coming down into the garden right there. And there's a man and a woman having sex. And, and I had all this crazy stuff that I had put in there before I got saved. You know, and and I had never read the Bible. That's what's so crazy. I had never even read the Bible. And I managed to get the mystery of all mysteries carved into metal before I ever got saved. So here's the point. I have like a shed out in the back of my house. It was my work shed. Well, I converted it into a little living space. And then I, I built another little like tool shed and I put all my tools in it. And when I did that, I had found some pieces of the sculpture that we're missing and um we're going to rephotograph this sculpture sculpture all this artwork meticulously and we're going to show you the agenda in the artwork because it was all prophetic every bit of it and the lord told me well let me back up when i redid this new shed i found some pieces that were missing let me show you what those pieces were right there now these are electrical housing conduits that bring power in on the pole from the that bring the power in to a house from the pole from the you know city electrical and i would turn them around and i carved them into these locusts coming out of the pit you can see right there and i'd put them on and they're coming out of these vortexes now these are just these are setting on top of this counter that's not where they're intended to go i just set them there temporarily but i actually had carved out of electrical conduits locusts coming out of a vortex and they're made from electrical conduits i want you to think about that for a sec where the energy comes in to a house that's what this thing is this this yeah when you turn this thing around there's a plastic housing on the other side that receives the wires and i turned them into these locusts coming out of the pit now i did that in 2001 so here's the point these things were sitting in my house because i built this other tool shed and these things were miraculously turned up that were missing and here's now listen closely the Lord told me, Jonathan, put them on your artwork now. Light up your artwork. Photograph it. Show everybody. I was predestined to be, Yahweh has given a messenger that rings the bell. I was predestined to have a company called Vampires. Sunglasses for vampires that they're so good that a vampire can come out of the darkness into the light. I was predestined to always be doing my own point of purchase ads where I'm falling out of the sky upside down. I was predestined to be married to a girl named Eleutheria, which is the same as the Statue of Liberty. The Bible says, you'll know the truth and the truth will set you Eleuthero. Go look it up. You know what? I'll look it up for you. Watch. I just I just want to show you this because it's also mind-boggling now The my predestination has played out. And yes, I'm an end of the world harbinger. I'm the guy. Yeah. Anyway, so you will know the truth. Watch this. John 8.32. Okay, you'll know the truth and the truth will set you free. So let's look. Watch. Okay, here we go. 
John 8, verse 32. And you know that you shall know the truth, and the truth will make you free. See, look, I'm not lying to you. L U Thero, you see it? That's the male version of the name of my wife. And my wife is this woman right here, Eleuthera. And she was my, she was, you know, we were like yin and yang. We were the perfect match for each other on this planet. And so, but then I turned away from that and I turned to the truth. And I turned away from Eleuthera to Eleuthero. Do you get it? And that's why I was predestined to do what I'm doing. And, you know, look at Rise with the Sun. I mean, come on. So anyway, so now the Lord's told me what to do. He told me in order for him to be able to use me right now, I have to be weak. So I can barely, I mean, I can't tell y'all how wounded I am right now. I'm wounded. I feel like I lost the fight with the two little wrestlers and Nacho Libre, the little uh, twin guys, yeah, that wear the mask. I feel like they had knives and I lost the knife fight. So anyway, so now the mystery of who I am has played out. Some of y'all that know who I am, you know who I am. When you are someone that belongs to God, you don't have to go around telling everybody who you are. It'll play out. So that's why people that go and talk about being the two witnesses, I don't, I don't listen to those people. The people that will be the two witnesses, you'll know they're the two witnesses by the way it plays out. The people that, you know, the um, angels of all the churches, you'll know who they are because it'll play out. And it always plays out. I'm the one that had the key, the key of David. That's why I'm always turning things upside down. Anyway, praise God, all glory to God. So anyway, come out of the darkness into the light with the Lord God, okay? So... Yeah, I'm I'm sorry guys, I'm overwhelmed. I'm sitting here looking at all this going, wow, I'm the guy. I'm the guy. I'm the end of the world. Harbinger guy. Wow. That's why my name means Yahweh has given a messenger that rings the bell, sounds the alarm. That's why I'm the guy that people draw images of with dead sheep because I'm being hunted by Satan's angels. They're hunting me because they know I'm trapped in the flesh. And they're trying to destroy me and take me out. That's why now I know exactly what's up. That's why I can show y'all all this stuff. That's why I can show y'all things that nobody else can show you. I'm the guy. I'm the guy to ring the bell. Okay, so I'm going to ring the bell now. It's just, it's so wild just to see all this play out. It's so wild. So here's what's going to happen. The locusts are about to come out of the pit. See, those locusts right there that are on my artwork, I'm going to put them where they belong on the artwork. They actually, they actually on my artwork, when I produce this artwork, there's a, I took a plasma cutter and I cut in this metal and I light the metal from behind and it makes a vortex and all these locusts are coming out of the vortex. <laughs> I'm not kidding. It's like, ah, ah I'm not kidding. I was like, that's the craziest thing I've ever seen in my life. I actually carved the locusts that are going to come out of the pit on my artwork in 2001. Yeah. So anyway, I just wanted to do a video, let you guys know, hey guys, here it comes. We're going we're gonna to get this room set back up. This room is just demolished. Uh, we're trying to reconfigure all these computers. We're going to have an ongoing slideshow, the Lord told me. I want this slideshow up. I want it running. Uh, I want all those folders constantly slideshow. So I'm going to have an ongoing slideshow all the time. And the slideshow is going to be all the folders that of all the stuff that he's let me decrypt. It's just going to go constantly. He wants me putting it out there now all the time because the end is coming. The locusts are about to come out of the pit. Um, Jesus is coming. It'll be a nick of time in the nick of time type of thing. Um, you're going to have to stand and be brave. Men's hearts are going to fail them, people. It's going to be crazy. It's coming. So it's very exciting. It may be, you know, the way I understand it, and I'm just telling you for right now, the way I understand it 
is there's going to be a birthing, and the way that it's going to birth is, yeah, New York's going, the Hoover Dam's going, and at that time, that'll be the birthing. Looks like the pit's going to open, and looks like Jesus, it may all happen simultaneously. I don't know exactly, but I know that that right there that's on your screen, that's what's coming. The locust out of the pit, and I'm the guy. I'm, I'm the guy. I was predestined for it, so... Anyway, that's it. That's why he kept showing me all this crazy stuff. That's why he showed me all this crazy stuff with Wreck-It Ralph and all this stuff. I mean, look at that. Look at the Statue of Liberty holding a freaking locust on her chest. <laughs> that's so crazy. I mean, look at that. That's what she's on. That's not a kid wrapped in an American flag. That's a freaking locust. That's why I put this locust right here next to it, because it's in the same body position. See? So if I slide it over right on top, there it is. That's why he saved the best for last. Get ready, folks. Saints Kingdom going down, down, down. Yes, this is it. All right. So anyway, so here's the other thing. Listen up. Um, we have people that, you know, at the end of the month, there is more month for them than they have money. And we try and help the people out that we can. I know there's a woman this month that lost her house. Uh, uh, she's uh, she's losing it. She's going to, they're auctioning off her house. She couldn't make the payments. Uh, she's going to need a place to go. Um, we're trying to help with that. Um, you know, I'm not going to let the left hand know what the right hand's doing. Uh, we're doing other charitable things, but if you guys want to help us with that, I think on the YouTube channel, if you go to our YouTube thing somewhere on our channel, I think somewhere on our channel, there's a um, way to help. I don't know, because I really don't, that's not the thing I pay most attention to. My thing is get the information out, number one, get the information out. Um, let's see. Oh yeah, right here. JK. You can PayPal to JK at JonathanCleck.com if you want to help out. And you know, just only if you're led. And I don't, you know, here's the other thing. God doesn't need someone that's struggling to try and help someone, but it's a matter of heart. You know, if you're led to help somebody out and help us take care of somebody else and do it. If you're not, then don't, you know, that's the way it works. But the mystery of all mysteries is solved. And yes, ha <laughs> ha. He had me do it in my artwork before I ever got saved. So when the time came, I would have the confidence to know, oh my gosh. Yeah, I'm the guy. I'm the guy. So let's do it. Let's kick some ass, huh? Okay. All right. God bless, guys.